So, so we're going to test our calf strength. Let me just put that up a little bit. So this is the area that a lot of runners don't work with their strength sessions. And it's so important because you're using the calves so much. So people that have calf injuries, have Achilles injuries, shy away from doing this. But this is the thing that they really, really need to do. So what we're going to do is test because we're warm anyway from doing the, uh, the glute activation first. But if you're doing this and you're not warmed up, I would probably stop this video and just do a quick warm up of sorts for about three to five minutes and then come and do this, um, do this exercise. So what we're going to do is we'll start on the right side. So the ball of your foot is on the step, left foot's off, leg is straight and stays straight. Then you drop the heel off as far as you can go and push up. That's one repetition two repetitions keep going you do as many as you can and then stop when you've done as many as you can and note that number down don't rush it and make sure your body's nice and tall so you're going to max on this Okay, so stop when you've done it. Right, you probably know, I should have said, have a piece of paper with you. So jot down how many repetitions you did on the right leg. And then we're going to repeat it for the left leg. And then I'll tell you what we should be getting. And I didn't hit that number. So <laughs> that means I need to do more work on my calves. Okay, so left side when you're ready, ball of the foot. So you're going for maximum repetitions. If you get to the point where the range of movement becomes really really small that's cheating okay so once your range of movement's gone you have to stop so left foot ball of foot down as far as you can and up straight leg at this kind of tempo not too fast so that's cheating as well Keep going until you've done your max. It hurts. Okay, so mine's gone down since I last did this test, so that's not good. So what we should be getting, just kind of walk around and just let them move, is you should be getting between 25 and 30 on each side. So what we typically see is about 15 reps in runners. Okay, so if you're lower than 25 to 30, then you need to do, and just this exercise, so just do body weight. Okay, so what we're going to do now then is we'll do as many sets as we can in the next five minutes on each side. Same exercise, but you're not going to go to your max. So if you got to around 15, you're probably going to go to about nine, 10 repetitions. If you got 20, probably between 12 and 15. So just to the point where it just starts to burn a little bit and then stop. Okay, and then do the other side. The other thing we're looking for, are they similar or is there a big difference between left and right? So there was one difference between my left and right, which is that's okay. If we're talking like five reps difference, then we've got an issue, okay? So if we go back to right leg, you're gonna go just till it burns and then change legs and do the other leg. We're not adding any weight at this point because we need to get to 25 to 30 reps. So when you're ready, Okay, and then change to the left side.
Okay, just note the, those repetitions down for set one on your piece of paper. Okay, if there's a, when you test it, if there's a difference of say one or two between sides, do the same repetition on each side. If there's a big difference, then you may have to do less repetitions on the weaker side. So do body weight again, one more set on each side. Don't rush it. Good, and then you just change sides when you're ready. And recover. Obviously recover when you're ready, don't recover when I've finished. Okay, we're going to do a third set. So what I would do is every month I would retest your carb strength. Well, we'll do it on here probably, um, just to see if you're getting any better. You don't need to test every time you do this, but once a month will be good. Okay, so last set then on both sides, you go at your own pace. got more reps out on that last one it's good <laughs> good right so that's what I would aim for if you were low on that test to start with twice a week I would do this when you can do three sets of 15 on each side and that feels okay then I would add in some weight so all I would do is add a dumbbell in the opposite hand and do that or you could put on a weighted vest you can't really have a barbell because you can't um, you can't hold on to the side unless you're in the gym and then you're loading then that's fine but these work really hard when we run, especially when you do a lot of trail running. So we've got to stay on top of this and work on them. All right, that's it. Well done. <laughs> that's it.